Hello YouTube, welcome to another video where I'm going to show iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 on older devices. So this is the iPhone SE, the first generation one, and this is the iPad mini 4, the A8 chip, the same chip that was in the iPhone 6, not the 6s. So that still runs iOS 15. So that's a great thing. So let's go and check out. So this is the iPad mini 4. As you can see, it's running iOS 15 or the iPadOS 15. So this is the user interface. So right now, like we can put the widgets anywhere on the home screen. So you can make like a, a complete home screen full of widgets. So that was earlier with the iOS 14. So which was a major update. So this is kind of a minor update, but the changes are incremental and the visual updates. It's kind of more with the iPad than the iOS 15. That's because of the widgets where uh, the earlier the widgets, it was just confined to the left side. So now you can put on the entire screen. So on the iPhone, so this is the iPhone SE first generation as you saw right now. So I'm going to show uh, like how it is the experience. So this was the iOS 14 or uh, the iPad OS 14. So only it was confined to the left side. So and you, you had the option of uh, six grid array of icons so that is not there with the latest update so you are confined with the four grid icons so the left and right side is left blank so that's for the widgets so that's all so now let's check out the latest features in the iPadOS 15 so first let's check out the multitasking so let me open safari even the safari is revamped completely on the iPadOS and mainly on the iPhone the iOS so that's a major change with the Safari which I'll come to in a bit so as you can see here the um, tab color the entire status bar so it changes to the color uh, the accent color of the website so that is kind of cool and it fills in the complete home screen so as you can see the split view so I just dragged it to the right or left so it asked me to create a split view so I can open any app that supports a split view so for example i have opened youtube here so that supports split view and right now like i can uh, i can interact with both sides of the screen so i can even uh, make it a smaller screen on either of the side so that still works kind of cool so again this is running on the a8 chip so it's running kind of smooth so there is no issues so i have been using the beta version from the first developer beta of the iPadOS 15 so it was kind of glitchy and it got better and better from beta 3 beta 5 was completely fine so they have ironed out all the issues so it's uh, it's a no, no brainer so you can update uh, with confidence even on the older devices so right now uh, this is the split view and you can just drag and uh, slide it so this is kind of a minimizing the um, application and you can just open it back and also uh, with the newer ipad so you can use the gestures so most of the people they just use the home button so again you can use the gestures with uh, even the older ipad so that works completely fine it's completely smooth in here and so the split view application so uh, it even comes with the option to cancel individual apps so like that and that's a cool thing and now let's check out the features of the safari so as you can see uh, the safari is kind of uh, revamped so that's just like the macOS monorail so you can add a wallpaper to it so that's there and also you can uh, check out the tabs here so you get a complete uh, a web browsing experience just like how you do on a laptop with the ipad so that's a great thing so the changes are kind of uh, more pronounced with the ios safari update so as you can see here so i just closed the application so you can uh, notice like how fast it loads back so that's again on the iphone se with the a9 chip so that's still right and this is the cool feature which i uh, am kind of interested in so you can switch between tab with just a swipe so this works only if you have the uh, address bar on the bottom of the page and also you can add wallpapers just like on the ipad safari and the mac os monorail or even the previous uh, the big Sur safari where this feature was introduced so that kind of looks cool and as i mentioned so we have the address bar at the bottom so some might 
uh, even feel uh, it is a kind of a different move so earlier we used to have the address bar on the top so right now it is at the bottom so again like if you want the address bar back at the top so you have an option here so show address bar at top so now it's just like a, a previous safari so but the problem here is like you don't get the uh, switching between tabs or switching to new tab all these gestures are not available here so like if you require that feature it has to be at the bottom of the screen to get this feature but one thing that you miss here is the notes taking ability so from the right corner of the screen so that only works with the uh, uh, with the newer devices so that's not here and now let's check out the facetime features and again there are a few features which are still coming soon so that might come with the ios 15.1 or 15.2 so for example the share play so that's not here and the universal control so that's again not here so maybe with the macOS Monterey we we can get that and now we can have facetime literally with uh, android phone or windows so you can just share the link so just how you share your zoom or webex link so and they can join the call so right now i have just uh, shared it with me uh, and i might receive a message over here and so even the messages app it's slightly revamped so i'll come to that in a bit and so yeah we have some notifications over there and this is the facetime link so this is the same link that you can get it on your android phone and you can just join so that will join via uh, your browser so there is no specific app for uh, android phone so but still that is kind of cool so you can invite more people but again the share play and all those features so they are yet to come maybe with the ios 15.1 so there we can share your uh, netflix or youtube so or maybe like and even the apps they need to support that and also you can share screen so that was in the previous beta version so there's share screen so and again uh, most of the features so they will not be coming to the older generation ipad or the iphone with the previous generation chips and mainly uh, if you have a a12 chip so it makes a greater sense of all the features that you can expect over there so the previous ones the a8 a9 or 8 even the a10 they don't have so this is one of the main feature which i would miss in the previous devices so that is live text so with live text what you can basically do is copy the text that is present in the photos or even in the camera application and so that's great for taking notes like if you're uh, if you're uh, taking any uh, online or even if you uh, take a picture of some notes and you can copy the text from there so that's a cool feature and again like uh, the android folks so uh, like with the google photos that was working so now that you can directly do it with your ios devices but again you require a newer device so a12 or above so with the ipad mini fifth generation so that works perfectly fine and also uh, any iphone or the iphone 10s or 10r so that should be fine and coming to the notes section so i can just copy that text here and boom you have the text over here so that's a cool feature but again you'll be missing out on the 8 a9 and even the a10 chip so even the iphone 10 it doesn't have that and now let's check out the photos application so that's again uh, slightly revamped so not nothing much over here so you can have the photos data so if you click on the photos you can have like when it is captured or the date or and the size of the photo which is cool and this is one of the coolest features so you can drag and drop the photos oh something happened maybe yeah let's let's try that again so uh, let me go back to photos again so you can just uh, click on it and once you click so you need another hand maybe or uh, I'm, i might be doing it wrong so correct me if i'm wrong so in the comment section so and you can drop it so yeah right now it appeared and so this is drag and drop so this works across all the apple applications so even from files so if you have some file uh, on your uh, files application from there you can copy paste them to any of the apple applications like messages 
and it even works with the older devices so that that's kind of cool so even with the ipad mini 4 or the iphone se first generation so that works completely fine and yeah so that's here and like yesterday i updated to the ios 15 so that is nine years before with the iphone 3gs i updated to ios 6 long time ago so another great important feature is the focus mode so that's across all the devices so there is no restriction so even from the uh, basic uh, iphone the iphone sc it supports this focus mode so basically these are the uh, profiles as you can see so right now i have set the work profile here so i have the people who can contact me during work the applications that will send out the notification or i can even uh, set the uh, home screen which would suit the only the work application so for example i can just have outlook uh, teams and uh, the applications that i could only interact during work so that uh, no other application like social media can disturb me and another uh, important feature for this is here so that is the notification summary so if you have a notification turned on for application so you don't need to turn it off completely so this notification summary it can give the complete summary of the notifications that you will get during the day and it would be muted for some time and during the particular time that you set here so all the notifications it would come as a summary so that will not disturb you during your work or sleep or uh, you can set up that uh, completely and here is a quick message from my friend with the focus mode so as you can see like everyone is quite uh, interested on the focus mode so that is one of the standard features of the iphone uh, or the ios 15 so let's now run some geekbench test so this is the ipad mini so it runs on a8 chip and two gigs of ram so it's a pretty old one so right now like we have the a15 bionic so that's kind of uh, the latest uh, chip that we have with the iphone 13 series and this is the iphone uh, sorry the ipad mini 5 so this has the 812 bionic so the 812 bionic gets all the features that is with the ipad os 15 so which is a great thing and now this is the I, uh, ipad 7 generation the basic ipad so this runs the a10 fusion chip so this again mits, misses out on few of the features that are we are getting and this is the iphone se so this runs on the a9 chip so one of the reason why the ipad mini 4 or even the ipad the fifth generation ipad gets this update is because both of the ipad has two gigs of ram but the iphone 6 it had just one gigs of ram uh, one gb ram so that's the reason so as you can see the scores here so it's 364 single and 672 multi core so which is pretty bad but as you can notice and even from the betas from the previous beta that i had so it is uh, completely uh, if you are using it for your home purpose for entertainment or content consumption so it is really good and with the ipad mini 5 it's still a stellar performance with the 812 chip the 812 bionic it's still relevant for this time and the a10 chip it it can even still continue for even further updates i believe so there is no issues with the uh, features or something with the newer ipads but the older ipads misses out on most of the features so if you scroll down to the bottom of the page so you have some disclaimer there so as you can see like most of the features it is for the 812 bionic chip or later so which is a kind of bummer but still like we are not getting any pro applications or such again so that is with the ipad os so but it still supports all the ipad that previously supported the ipad os 15 so which is a great thing again and then coming to the ios 15 again like we have all the devices which supported the ios 14 it supports still the ios 15 but again here you, you can notice the 812 bionic or above so this disclaimer holds good so apple has done a great job for providing updates for five six year old devices and it still runs smooth so 
that's kudos to apple and thank you for watching that's all i had for this video subscribe for more and as always peace